Hey, what's going on? This is Nate, Tiny Hilltop Food Forest. I need to start getting my greenhouse ready for spring, uh, for, for planting. I want to plant as early as possible, but also because I am getting my first chickens, uh, my first hens in a couple weeks, and I want to put them in the greenhouse while the snow melts and I build them a run and coop. A couple videos ago, or a couple weeks ago, I started trying to figure out how to get the snow off the side of my greenhouse um, sometimes I forget that I, I have some energy. I'm still new to the whole having a little bit of energy thing. So I tend to overthink things and, and look for solutions that use the, the least amount of energy as possible. But um, I remembered that I could actually just shovel it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to shovel it. And then also I want to take it apart and re replace some boards. I used, I used pine boards um, from my dad's build and some of them have, have gone a little moldy. So I'm gonna replace those with some treated. I figured I can get away with treated because it's not gonna be in contact with any soil. Um, anything in contact with soil, I'm using cedar. And then also, you know, I'm, like I said, I want to get the PVC uh, that's in contact with the soil. I need to thaw the soil around that and, and get those out. So that's what I'm working on today. I'll probably just start chipping away at it. It'll probably take me the full couple weeks because the ground is pretty frozen, so it's gonna take me a little effort to thaw, to thaw out the soil around the PVC. But I'm gonna start chipping away at it, and then hopefully I can have it all ready by the time my hens get here. I told myself when I started this project about 10 minutes ago that I would allow three accidental greenhouse nicks because I know I know myself and I get a little reckless with the hatchet and the, and the shovel and I'm at two right now and I don't know if I'm at two thirds of the way done so I'm gonna have to be pretty careful to stay within my allotted nicks. I have the first side done. Anyone scoring at home? I finished with four nicks unofficially. I'm only gonna go with three because one was below the baseboard. I have some greenhouse tape, so I'll go through and I'll, I'll tape those up once I get everything back put in place. I have the plastic off. I made a little greenhouse out of a mini tub with the heater in. And I'm trying to thaw out the PVC where it's in the soil along the baseboard. So while I'm doing that, um, I'm gonna take the boards off front and back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip it down to the bare bone PVC. The reason I'm going to do that is I used white PVC. Uh, at the time, I didn't know this, but the gray conduit PVC is actually UV treated, the white isn't. So I had to come up with something that I could put on the white PVC to keep it from, from breaking down in the sun. Most people use a latex paint, but for me that won't work with my sensitivities. So what I did is I'm actually going to use some UV treated Gorilla tape. I, I guess it's duct tape. I'm gonna go over each PVC with that so it doesn't, so it'll protect it from the sun over the summer. I'm 
I'm not getting anywhere with the PVC, so I need to reevaluate that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use my golf cart to pull it out. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nate, your golf cart sucks in the snow. And you would be correct. But what I'm going to do is actually winch my cart to this tree and pull it up. Then once I get it up here, I'm gonna see if my winch will reach the PVC. I'm gonna drill a hole through it using a paddle bit, throw in a bolt, connect the winch to it, and see if it can pull it out. So let's give it a try. There's some ice in the winch, so it's not spinning on the spool. Something's blocking it. So I gotta thaw that out and see what's going on. I took the winch apart. It had a pretty big rat's nest, so I untangled everything. So now I just have to put it back together and get my cart up there so I can use it. I have it all back together. It sounds like the motor is running correctly. It's running smooth but I can't get the spool to engage. And I have two theories. The first one is I took it apart really slowly so I knew where everything went and I could put it back together. But at some point, a spring popped out. And I have a feeling, I don't know if I put the spring back correctly. I think I did because I put it three or four different places and it didn't run very smoothly until I found the place it's at now. So I think that's in the right spot. So the other possibility is, last year, last fall, I was way back on a property uh, where we call, what we call the Plank Bridge by our little creek. And I got a little blood sugar, so I was racing back and I was in and out of it. I was really shaky and, and uh, was losing, it was in and out. Um, and I crashed my cart pretty bad. I snapped a lag bolt, which caused my body to sit improperly on the axle, but I was able to fix that. My buddy's a welder, he welded a lag bolt back on the plate and I got that going. But when I was taking apart the winch, I found this bent, bent little bolt. And I think what's happening is I can't tighten it enough to cause the gear to engage. I only have, I, there's two bars that hold, hold each piece together and then there's gears. And I only have one of the bars on right now because I need this to tighten the other bar. Either way, so I think so I think what's happening is it's not tight enough to engage. Either way, I don't know for sure until Monday because the guy that does technical support on that wench is on vacation. So he'll either tell me I have the spring wrong or, or I need this part. So until then, I'm just gonna go back to working on the greenhouse, see what happens with it. So I got some of the, the tape on there and then I tried to budge, I tried to move the PVC again in the soil. It's not budging. I had the heater on it with the greenhouse for about an hour and I just turned it off. I can't run that much electricity and, and it's not even working. So I'm gonna have to reevaluate how I'm gonna get that out. Next week is supposed to be in the mid, mid to high 40s for the highs, but it's still lows in the upper teens, low 20s. So. I think anything I get thought out during the day is just gonna freeze up on me at night. I might have to just put the plastic on and then put my chickens in it for a couple weeks and then take it off and then once the soil's up and ready one day. Cause once, if it's nice out and the soil's actually thawed on its own, I could do it all in a day. But for now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I gotta, gotta go back and think about it. Thanks for watching. 
always appreciate it. Take it easy. Catch you later. Be good.